Hey Valley Middle, welcome to another Stems Day video. Today we'll be doing the third activity in the Hot Wheels series. Now before we get started, here's a quick trivia question. What does the Barbie doll plus a Hot Wheel car have in common? Well, they've actually got a couple of people in common. Meet the Handlers. Here's Ruth Handler. In 1959, she was watching her daughter play paper dolls in her doll house and came up with the idea for the Barbie doll. A few years later, her husband, Elliot Handler, invented the Hot Wheel car. Um, I think they probably did okay. Guess what their daughter's name was. Go ahead and shout out the answer. I know you know it. That's right. Barbara. That's where the Barbie doll got her name. All right. Today's challenge will be to win the Hot Wheel drawing contest with your partner. More specifically, we're going to ask you and your partner to make a two-dimensional drawing of a Hot Wheel car that is five times the original size. Here I've demonstrated what a side view of a car might look like. You may also choose to do the front of the car if you would rather do that instead. Materials are just what you'd expect. You're going to get a hot wheel car, a large piece of paper, and a ruler to work with. Constraints are pretty straightforward. You can only use the materials provided. The drawing should be five times the size of the original hot wheel car. You may not use any type of electronic device such as a dot camera in your room to complete this activity. Watch the time. Uh, time will be your major constraint here. You only have about 35 minutes to get this done. All right, before we get going, I think just a couple of tutorials you probably want to go through. First of all, before you get started, you're going to have to decide when you make your scale drawing if you're going to use standard measurements or metric measurements. And if you're going to use standard measurements, I think if you measure to the nearest quarter of an inch, that'll be just fine. So if you look between one and two inches here, this longest line here will be the one-half or the two-fourths inch mark. And the next longest line, which is exactly halfway between the one and the one-and-a-half mark, would be the one and one fourth inch mark, so the quarter inch mark, the two fourths or one half inch mark, and of course between two fourths and two here would be the one and three fourths inch mark. So the longest one will be the half inch mark, the other two are quarters. You got one and one quarter, one and two quarters, and one and three fourths before you get to two inches. Uh, this car, therefore, is, go ahead and say it, one and one fourth inches wide. All right, if we're going to use the metric system, I think if you measure it to the nearest half centimeter, that would be fine. Here's the half centimeter mark. It is exactly halfway between the zero and the one in this case. It's the longest line, just like the half inch mark was. So this car here would measure exactly six and one half centimeters. That'll help you set up the length of the scaled version of this. All right, now I'm not too great at art, so I went to my friend Claude. He dabbled in art throughout his life, and uh, here's what he came up with. Four quick steps. Number one. Lightly draw a rectangle five times the size of the side or the front of the car. So this would be the height of the car and the length of the car if I was doing the side. I'm doing this van over here. And then sketch in the outline of the body. I kind of roughed that out a little bit. And then sketch in the wheels and the windows. Put those on. Get those looking proportional. And finally, add in the details and erase that original rectangle. Nice, Claude. All right, let's work through the collaborative design process. Completing this activity, here's some questions to ponder. Does your drawing look proportional? Which parts are not to scale? How can you change that? Use that ruler. Early finishers, you can go ahead and add color to your Hot Wheels using any medium you have available to you. All right, let's keep rolling here. Wrap up cleanup time. Choose your best drawing in the homeroom. I don't care how you do it. Send the winner down to my room. Go ahead and keep any other drawings or recycle them. Put the rulers and the cars back in the basin and leave time for a wrap-up discussion. The winner of the Hot Wheels drawing contest will receive a gift card. All right, before we go, let's play the Hot Wheels match game. Here are three sets of Hot Wheels and three staff members. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can match them to the correct person. It never gets old. All right, here we go. Let's see how you did. Mr. Lindquist had the 1987 Pontiac Sunbird SC. My wife had one just like it that was gold. Ms. Carlson had the 1995 Dodge Neon. And Mr. Hutchinson had the 1996 Dodge Stratus. He look a little bit like Forrest Gump in that picture. I think he does. All right, here's one more look at Claude's recommendations uh, for the order in which he would make this scale drawing. The steps he'd take. Go ahead. Enjoy.